So, here I am with David at number one Rosemary Water. Please would you take me back to the very beginning? I will, Miss Caroline. So, this is really a, a story about people living longer healthily. And we felt that we wanted to cast someone older, probably post 50, who was healthy, vibrant, um, powerful, and looked strong, and really could be Rosemary. Me blush. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we found Caroline. Um, we, it's, it's interesting, really. We, we, we were looking at a number of different people um, from May Musk, who is, is Elon Musk's mother. Um, we were looking at Nancy Delolio, looking at Carmen at Del Orifice, um, who she looks amazing. Um, and really trying to, we've had a number of, of, of pictures of film stars, effectively, who were of that ilk. Uh, and we thought, right, we need to find somebody like this and discover somebody. Um, and that's really where, I guess, luck took a hand because we were employing um, Caroline's daughter, uh, Mimi, and Mimi just very casually said, oh, my mother looks like that. <laughs> Can I show you her on Instagram? And it immediately struck us, went, okay, there, there's Rosemary. We bet to fly her over from Dubai and, and, and have a casting. And um, she was the only person we cast, and we instantly cast her. Beginning of my life, and that was, my <laughs> and then we thought, right, okay, we have rosemary. We wanted to be in vogue. We wanted the drink to be um, seen as this very, very high-end sort of fashion brand with this incredibly strong backstory of the village and the health claims. Um, and we felt that nobody had really done it the way that we wanted to do it. The bottle was so beautiful and clean, and we thought, thought that we, if we shot a campaign. We could do double page spreads with Rosemary on one side with some really clever copy across her and um, the bottle on the other. And we knew we need, also needed to shoot Rosemary's partner because we wanted to do some GQ ads and, and not specifically target uh, women, but also so uh, men. But we wanted the partner to almost be... Um, Rosemary was the alpha female. We wanted the, the, the man to be someone she was with. It may have been her husband, lover, um, but somebody that she was sort of taking care of. She, she was the person who ran, who ran the family. Um, and this person could have been sort of a, an artist or someone who was just a little bit softer than her, um, but who was incredibly cool, kind of, kind of an older hipster, if you like. So we cast that person quite, quite well, but we only did a couple of those pictures. The main event was really Caroline. So then we decided, okay, let's get this power sort of shots done for Vogue. And we wanted to shoot it so that it, it sat comfortably in Vogue, which meant we needed a very good photographer to do that. Um, so then we put together the, the styling for the shoot. So we had some incredible clothes from, from Victoria Beckham and, and Stella McCartney and really put together Rosemary, Ralph Lauren. I mean, we just had the most incredible shot. And, and on these shoots, you know, you maybe shoot three, maybe four. We shot nine pictures um, in, in one day and we just nailed it. Caroline, you were unbelievable on that day. You came in and you just did it. And the hair, the makeup, the clothes, the shots that we took and, and we just, we came away from it, just said, wow, we have 100% completed what we tried to do. And then we put it in vogue for a whole year and it just looked absolutely beautiful. And even now we get people saying, what a classy campaign for a drinks company from nowhere. Yeah. Suddenly we're sitting in the pages of Vogue next to these extraordinary, huge global designers and sitting very, very comfortably, comfortably and sometimes outshining them. We now have our superhero um, who is joining us. Superhero drinks super herbs. He approached us. He's quite handsome, yes. <laughs> I think you'll like Rosemary too. <laughs>